Yo, what's happening everyone? Today is Sunday, October 9th, 2016. It's time to shave and uh, this is what I'm going to use. Today's brush is going to be Simpsons Chubby 3 Acid Haze because this is like the illest piece of disco haze Rod Stock Simpsons ever used for a brush and it's mine. Um, oh, hey. Because I've been asked to show this part. Lots of water. Today's soap that that brush is going to be lathering is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Creed's uh, original Santal. It's been a while since I've used this soap. Um, I'll give my thoughts on it since uh, people have asked me to do just that. Um, let me rewarm this brush. Um, the water this thing was soaking in got a little cool through the shower. Um, yeah, there we go. It's been a while since I've used one of these Creed soaps. Um, no reason in particular, really. They're just not in, uh, they're just not anything that I reach for, like, all the time, you know what I'm saying? These things are extremely hard, extremely hard, and it does take a bit of, uh, does take a bit of time to uh, load the thing properly, which is what I intend on doing. Does smell good though. This is one of those scents um, that is fine. Actually, it's quite nice to shave with. Um, I wouldn't want to wear it as a fragrance for the whole day though. Like I wouldn't want to smell of this all day. Um, it's just not my, uh, it's not my style. This smells a lot like Youp from the uh, from the 80s and early 90s, if you remember that stuff. The uh, the reports are true, although I think a lot of times people just say that just to diss this stuff. It is what it is. <clears throat> I did transplant this from its original container. The original container is an unfinished piece of, um, an unfinished piece of, oh man, I think it's like pine or something. It's garbage, whatever it is. It's not waterproof, not sealed. It just really sucks. All right. <clears throat> Let's get this going. May have overloaded the brush. Not the worst thing in the world to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. All right. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this done. Weather is finally starting to turn a little bit cooler here. I'm happy about that. I think I read <clears throat> supposed to get down to like the mid 40s here tonight, which I am a okay with that. I don't ever remember it taking this long to get uh, to get uh, autumnal in the years before. All right. So yeah, like I mentioned, since this is not one of the things that I reach for as often as uh, the other things you guys see me use here, Barrister Man, Mickey Lee. Buffle head, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be uh, careful with how I put water in this. So as I don't mess it up. Um, so one of the things that's weird about this soap, um, the... Uh, the ingredients that are on the front of the packaging of the box don't really jive with the ingredients on the sticker of the box and I'll um, I'll link a couple of photos that I took um, of those two opposing ingredient lists from the box from this very box of, uh, of this soap 
which again I think is weird and uh, particularly since it's a European thing um, I know they're stricter about labeling than uh, you know what has to happen here in the States so I find that a little weird <clears throat> and I remember before I got to, before I got into shaving like this Creed used to offer these soaps as refill pucks as opposed to now where you have to buy them with that garbage uh, bowl which is annoying because I remember there being a pretty decent difference in price between the two <clears throat> I'm surprised they haven't expanded their um, offerings for shaving soaps they're still rolling with just the original three which is uh, this one, Original Santal, Original Vetiver, and Green Irish Tweed. You would think that they would be offering Aventus by now, but they're not. Which again, I find kind of weird, but uh, a lot of Creed's decisions I find to be weird. Alright, that looks good. That looks quite good, actually. Today's razor is going to be Wolfman WR10C. Uh, today's blade was going to be, I don't remember, but I switched at the last minute. I've been told I need to check these out, so I'm checking this out. Um, with the news of uh, Paul Silvers hitting the dough, that's quite nice. With the uh, news of Paul Silvers hitting the dust, um, that's one of the blades that has been um, mentioned in the chatter about... Uh, you know, what can take their place. I always forget that this soap is actually pretty slick. This is a good thick lather. <clears throat> wow. This is a nice blade. Very smooth. Good sharpness, too. Gillette. I don't understand you guys, man. You guys make these really good double-edged blades. Well, I do understand, because I know you're trying to get paid. But you make these really good double-edged blades, but you sell the average guy that doesn't do his research those stupid uh, fusion things. Excuse me. This soap is getting it done, man. Lots of talk lately about uh, expensive software. Um, no surprises in using this soap from any of the last times that I used it. At the end of the day, this stuff is pricey, man. Is it any better than the stuff that I normally use? It is not. The difference between this and a Mickey Lee's Barrister Man or Buffalo Head product is the scent. And the fact that it's triple milled. <clears throat> At least in terms of uh, this part of the shave, you know, when I'm actually running a, uh, a blade over the lather. This is quite slick. Residual slickness is pretty good. Again, not quite on the level of uh, any of the three that I've mentioned thus far. And l, &L Grooming, which is one that I've used for the first time recently with their uh, Champ de la Bande which is a collaboration between them and uh, collaboration between them and um, Chatillon Lux. <clears throat> hmm. Had an irritating day today. It's been full of chores. 
I don't even know that I've gotten any coffee at all today. And uh, maybe that's why today is just kind of irritating. But I've got to go to the grocery store. I've got to do laundry. <clears throat> so at least, uh, at least I'll smell like a few bucks when I go grocery shopping, right? Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, I uh, almost kind of want to like overdo it at the grocery store, seeing as how I still have the station wagon from the uh, from the shop. I want to use the grocery getter to bring home a bunch of groceries. Wouldn't be smart. There's really no reason to do that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a lot of uh, gallons of water. <clears throat> All right, so that's that. Again, good slickness. The post shave on this is quite nice, actually, which again, kind of is at odds with one of the ingredient list. Oh man, that is nice actually. So yeah, kind of makes me think that the uh, the ingredients list on the front of the box, which includes lanolin and honey, among other things, um, is the more accurate list of ingredients. I overloaded this brush big time. Look at how much is just falling off this brush. <clears throat> Lesson learned. But in my defense, sometimes these chubby threes are hard to uh, they're hard to load out of the uh, out of a four inch container. <clears throat> Blade's doing nice. Did feel a little less smooth up here. This lather is very thick. Makes it hard to see where the end of the beard is. and tough to line up. First world problem, check. This seems like the first time in forever that I've spent the weekend here rather than Nashville. It's been a very boring weekend. I coached my brother earlier through his first visit to a, a Vietnamese joint. He's kind of crazy about it. He asked me if the coffee's any good. Come on, bruh. Vietnamese coffee is the jam.
if I remember correctly, I think you said you saw it on nearly every table. Kind of tells you something. If you see it on every table, you probably need to check it out. All right. Cross the grain. <clears throat> Not entirely sure that this is the best uh, blade for this razor. That's all right. I've got some other ones that I can use it in. Now that I think about it, I think uh, I think Paul Silvers may be the blade that I that I like best in this razor, aside from Gillette Platinums. Ooh, look at that! I didn't even go against the grain on the mustache, and I got weepers. <laughs> Moving on this one, I guess it's because uh, I'm not talking too much. I guess the grain here. I think this may. I think this could deal with this soap lather, I should say, could deal with a bit of water right about now. I went somewhere this weekend, I don't quite remember where yesterday it was, yesterday evening. Somebody asked what the score of the football game was, and uh, I told him I don't watch football, and he looked at me like I was crazy. That's usually, I mean, that's happened a lot. Listen, I, I've lived in the southeastern United States since 1990, and uh, it does happen when people ask me, and I tell them that. Hold on one second. But it's like, come on, man. You have to understand that not everybody is so beholden to the athletic team of a school they didn't even go to a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I think that's pretty well it. Quite a bit of soap left on the brush, and I'll uh, I'll wring all this out. But look at how deep that uh, that soap is down in there. Overload big time. So that's telling me that I could probably stand to put a bit of a. Uh, a bit more water in the lather, but it worked well. <clears throat> to do this. 
I was wanting to be in Nashville this weekend. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, the Kevin Hart movie opened this weekend. But, uh, my friends are out of town. So I'll wait till next weekend or something. <clears throat> there we go. Alright. Let's get this, uh... That's how much soap is left in this thing. Quite a bit. A lot of lather. <laughs> this is good lather. It's not bubbly. It's pretty slick. It does have more water than what was at the tips of the brush. It's okay. Today's after sh oh Jiminy. Today's aftershave is gonna be the one that I'm about to show you. Barrister Man Reserve Spice. Good stuff. Uh, first time that I've used it out of this bottle. And I figured that it would be a good pairing for uh, for that Santal Regional. And uh, I think I'm right. Smells good. Again, this one is a bit more bracing than the other two. Skin is uh, being well treated today. Again, the post shave that soap is uh, pretty good. And this stuff is like, this is a five star resort for your skin. If you don't have this stuff yet, the first time that you use it, make sure that you notice how your skin feels a few hours afterwards and continues to feel that good for hours to come. Good stuff, good, 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 good stuff. Let me dry my hands off real quick. <coughs> All right, um, how to look at the, uh, how to look at the display on the camera and uh, it stopped recording. Um, so I figured this would be a good time to break. Um, it is time to draw for the winner of the brush. Um, there were 169 entries. Um, so what I am going to do um, is generate, excuse me, there are 169 um, entries in for the brush giveaway. Um, so uh, I'm going to jump on random.org and um, oh, let me do this. Hopefully, yep. One to 169, calculate. Number 61 is the winner. So number 61, I'll be getting in touch with you. Um, congratulations. Um, anyway, and that's gonna be it. Um, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Um, hope you've been well, hope you'll be well, and uh, speak soon. Bye everyone, peace.